And this should be the start of 9F. Uh, before we get going too far, let me remind you guys that if you're enjoying the series, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up and consider subscribing. Alright, so what did we pick up? Picked up some gunpowder. Some chunks of flesh. Okay. Picked up some mushroom. Some cobalt ore, some ardite ore. Now, can we pulverize these? I don't think we can. I think all we can do is put them in the... No, we can pulverize them. Okay. Let's work those there. What does this do? We can make a block. We can go on the electrolyzer to get me zinc and sulfur. So that should go up here. Iron ingots should go in this one. Iron ingots should go in that. What did I put in here? Okay. Now let's take a look at this. The use of this, we smelt it to make Tiberium fluid. And then we use Tiberium fluid with basalt or dilithium. Okay, hold on. Tiberium with dilithium or with, oh, a whole bunch of other stuff. Okay, so basically this is just an alloying. I can cast it into pretty much anything, right? Yep. What is it as a tool, though? Unstable. Diamond level mining. So it's not great. But it can go there for now. Steel leaf. Got a store. We'll put that up here, not to store stuff, but we'll put it up here with our storage crate stuff. And now let's see, we don't have anything in here. At some point, maybe we should power these. It's got it powered to an inventory one. Jump, flippers, thaumertages, boots, mini anvil, apiera shoes. So, inventory one adds an inventory to your armor. The size depends on the armor type. Set the hotkey to open it in game options. So I could actually put stuff in those boots. Now, should not this have powered these? Or does it not work that way? I don't know. Alright, so dark armor is an armor that we can use in the future. So we'll put it over here for now. Let's go over here and grab some books, like half, and put them in our disenchantment chamber. And now let's go over here to the disenchantments. Power to unbreaking. Okay, I actually want to just add to that. XP boost. Mending, mending, salvage. What is salvage? Salvage is... Armor weapons and tools drop themselves instead of expiring. Okay. Okay. Efficiency and unbreaking, right? Efficiency 2, Unbreaking 2, Sharpness 1, Unbreaking 2, Mending, Sharpness 1, Unbreaking 2, Mending, Smite 1, XP Boost. Okay. So, each of these now should have a modifier. So, 
So let's see about putting looting on them all. If we can. I'm sure that some of these can be resalvaged for, like, ingots, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. Fortune. We only have 58 lapis. So where can we get more lapis? Redstone, iron ca oh. Marble, marble, block of quartz. I don't know what that is. It, it was a lightning strike, maybe? I don't know what that is blowing up outside. Let's put that up there with this. That with this. It'll probably take two. Okay. Good. Now let's put... That is sharp. 10.6. This is not sharp at all. It's got two. So that gives me a sharp one. Which gives me 8.81 .8 damage. Now will this give me sharp two? Gives me sharper but not quite enough, right? So I need some quartz. I'm probably going to need more than that, right? Because that brings me to 118. That'll take me to 144. Now, can we add some speed? Unbreaking sharp. Some speed. But I want to add it to these, right? So I have one modifier there and one modifier there. So we could add some speed to both of those. I just want speed one on both of those. So let's do that and that. Bonus speed plus 18%. Okay. So that one's speedy. This one want to be the same, right? I need five more. So the mining speed on this one goes way up. That's pretty good. Okay, so now those we're going to wait for the next... Yeah, we need to wait for the next time. This one I'm accustomed. I've got launch, luck one, sharper, and diamond, and one modifier... We can't put luck two on it, or looting two, or however it's going to, which, whichever it ends up being. Because we don't have enough lapis. What we could put is beheading, right? Which is, let's go grab our book. Not necrotic. Where was beheading? Beheading is an ender pearl and an obsidian. We could reinforce them down to one ender pearl. Oh, let's put these in our inventory so we get that good. And an obsidian. put that on it so we'll get beheading on our sword so 
Now it has beheading. Okay, cool. And we'll still work our way up when we work our way through the rest of the... the rest of the deals. Don't know where I was going. Okay. This is doing its job. We don't really need it. This is keeping these. Let's work on... So we pull all but one of these. Let's work on a capacitor bank, right? So that we can store some of that power and it can be filtered back into our stuff. Um, so let's look those up. Capacitor. Capacitor bank. So there's the basic one. That's a thousand. That one's five thousand. That one's twenty-five thousand. And then, of course, there's the, you know, almost infinite in the creative, but we're not going that way. But in order to get to this one, we're going to need some vibrant alloy. Wow, we're going to have to go kill some enders. Can we make an ender? We have an ender spawner. Can we make this into... I don't want it to be a broken spawner. I don't want to change it. I just want to... What? How can we use this spawner to make... Uh, like, respawn... Respawner, or... What are those called? These are... Broken spawners. Powered spawner, so we could... Maybe... Enderman... Times ten... Supply with power to activate upgrades with capacitors to increase speed and energy storage. Are there other Restorbed mob spawner? All right, so to make a restorbed mob spawner, what do we do? I don't remember. I don't know. So that's something I'm going to have to look up. I mean, we could also go the Cursed Earth route, right? A tent spawns hunter. How do you make one of those? You need a hunter coat? Reach max level as a vampire hunter. Okay. Um, dread lamp prevents natural spawning of passive animals? No, that's not what we want. We want Naga spawner? No. Lich, Hydra, Urgast. Night, Phantom, Snow Queen, Minish Room, Alpha Yeti, and Boss Spawner. Yeah. Okay, so no recipes for those. Powered Spawners is recipes for. Cable Facade, Spawner Shards, we've got those. Monster Spawner, is there a recipe for that? No, we can get that in the end city, though. Creative spawner, yeah, that's not what I'm looking for. I'm actually looking for this. How do I get that? Alright, so there's something to look up. Okay, well. We, I've been keeping these spawners because I want to be able to use them, right? But I can't use them if we're not getting anything out of them. So let's go back to what what sent me on that tangent. Capacitors. So this one holds one million. It takes four basic capacitors, a block of redstone, and four iron. A basic capacitor is two, so we're going to need eight copper ingots and gold ingots. All right. So copper ingots, we're going to need four. Gold ingots, we're going to need sixteen. We need four of these. We need one redstone block and four iron. And we can make ourselves a basic capacitor bank. And 
now this will fill with power. Maybe. Okay, so that's not right. How come it will only do it if that's on input? That's full. That's filling at 160 per tick. What else could I use? Block of coal coke gives me 32. Pulverized charcoal. 1600 for block of coal. Coal coke gives me 3200. Coal gives me 16. Block of coal gives me 16,000. Maybe I should start making blocks, right? Whole bunch of wood, right? Yeah. So maybe that's what I should do. I should make these into blocks. That gives me 32 of those, which should last me a little bit longer. Did I miscount, or did I already have one in that one? I must have already had one in it. So that should be giving me way more energy per. Right? Okay. So now let's go back in here and see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So that'll be 64 blocks in there. Should have plenty to fill that. Put the rest here. Boom. Okay, so let's go back to the nether. about maybe killing some stuff. This is like a vampire coven, isn't it? Okay, I don't know what was that was. we're semi-safe <laughs> right where we come out um, let us mark this as portal and start lighting up our way Pick 
that up whenever we get the chance, right? Cobalt as well. Oops. Well, I guess a bunch of nether rack while we're at it. Okay, that's that wasn't cool how it just blew up on us. So I don't want to mess with it. that for? Cover crafting? We can grow more? Why? Why would we want to? Doesn't seem like it would be worth it. I think that's blood, right? More of the dilithium. And I'm just lighting this place up because I don't want to come through and there be stuff sitting here waiting on us. Juggernaut could be coming for us, but doesn't seem like it. Sometimes drop. The juggernauts sometimes drop.
should be doing my standard mining and exploration deal. Put them on the right. That way you always know where they are. they die in this, which, you know, I'm not at all sad for. Come on. Don't know what we'll use this fellerite for. I'm sure there's something that we can use it for, but I'm not sure yet what. Yeah, Tiberium. Stuff blows up. We don't want to keep hitting it, right? Pick up what you can when you can. Yeah, the redstone ore. Lots of that Tiberium around. Okay, let's, let's come in here where we're relatively safe and out of the way, and let's throw some stuff in here that we want to actually drop in here, right? Like the bone block. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> let's grab our home of knowledge and put our ores up here. Don't think we need the chunks of flesh, do we? Fangtooth gives us a knife, a mask, a sword, bone meal. Okay. Chunks of flesh give us flesh. Flesh gives us crafting stuff. Cover, block drop, painting, yeah. We don't really need those. Lapis we do want to keep. So that's it for 9F. Stay tuned for 9G.